Welcome to my opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified. On My Opinion TV we talk about new sports and general activities happening in and around the world especially in Jamaica and today we want to look at a situation here where a bartender was brutally murdered in uh, Williamsfield, Manchester and we're reading from the Jamaica Observer and it says police theorize that yesterday's shooting death of bartender Wendy Harrison at her home bar was a contract killing but her murder has left many of Manchester community puzzled. According to um, acting commander in charge of Manchester Police Dep Deputy Superintendent Lloyd Darby told the observer that the police were probing angles into the killing. He said, we don't have any leads as to who the shooter is, but we are following other angles as to what might have caused it. We believe it was contracted based on how the incident unfolded, um, Darby told the observer. Police reports that shortly after 1 p.m., Harrison was pounced upon by a gunman in her bar, which is located at the back of her house. The gunman opened fire, hitting Harrison. He then fled the scene. Residents of Williamsfield, who knew Harrison, were in shock um, when the observer visited. Everybody was keep on saying she was a nice person. Um, nobody wonder why someone would try to take her life. She doesn't give trouble. Those are the remarks by some of the residents. She's a nice lady. She had bar up in content, you know. So clearly she just used to operate bars in and around the Manchester area. And the police is asking if anyone with any information could assist them into this killing. But, you know, um, earlier, I think a, a few weeks ago, another person was killed in Williams Field area. I think the police... Um, says that is not related to this one but you know it is sad to see trying persons being taken out just like these by persons who have no purpose on earth no purpose on life they have no way going they live by the gun they will die by the gun but yet still they choose to walk and take persons life and to make matters even worse the persons who set up these persons to take other persons life they are just as evil and um ruthless as these persons who actually do the killing i hope the police will get to the bottom of this clearly there must be some form of um information why the police should come out and say this is a contract killing and you know these days the police have been doing wonderful job as it relates to tracking down persons who commit these heinous acts, these persons who take out persons' life for, um, for money, right? And as it relates to this situation, chances are the person who even killed this young lady might have never had a beef with her, never know her in life, never had nothing to do with her, but all because she and someone might not be seen high to eye, they might have disagreement or maybe they just don't like the growth of her business and how she's operating and our business might be doing better than theirs or there are so many theories that can be behind a contract killing well we just hope and pray that the, the cops will get behind this one and we'll find out who had reason to take the life of wendy harrison and as i said the police have been doing a great job we saw Tamara Geddes, that is the most renowned case so far, where she was killed. And when the police did their own investigation, they found out that the, the person who actually set up the killing was none other than her sister. So those are grounds the police will be looking at. The police, as I said, they have said this appears to be a contract killing. They would know why they say so. And, you know, for a person to be hard working, trying to go about their own business as i said they said she she operated bar before in a, in content she operate one now in williamsfield but based on what they are saying it appears as, as if the bar she had in content she closed it then she operated this one in williamsfield they also said she used to operate a bar near kirkvine with dalco backside plant but she locked it down 
when she came to Williamsville to live. But we don't know what's behind this. We hope more will come out in further down the road. And I guess based on how the police have been operating these days, I have all the confidence that later on you'll hear the real reason why this lady life was snuffed out by these unscrupulous termites who go around and creating havoc in communities like these but if you know anything or if you have any comment you can let me know in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave a comment and when you subscribe you help this channel grow and that is what we are here for the growth and development of this channel and we also hope for the betterment of our country jamaica land we love so take care be good be careful and always remember love your love love yourself and love your family and look out for a neighbor